Hello friends, welcome back to The Colour of Madness. Oh, so, we have, uh, we're, we're what, 12 episodes in now, I think. I think we're 12 episodes in, 15 weeks in. And now that we've kind of got a foothold on gear and equipment and stuff, I, uh, I want to try out some, some interesting stuff. I want to try out some... That's right. I want to try experimenting with some stuff. I want to try making some interesting stuff happen and using some skills and classes that I don't use very much. Something I've been talking about a lot in this series and haven't really had a huge amount of chance to do because we haven't had the the gold that we can afford to fail a mission, really. What class do we not want to take? It's the Houndmaster because all our idle Houndmasters are going to increase a level this week, which is fantastic. I do want to try using level 1s and 2s a little bit more, but maybe I can try using some skills that I don't normally. So, where do we want to go? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe we maybe we want to go to the ruins. The bullseye hat looks nice. We saw this at the end of the last episode. Accuracy is more important now than it used to be. Crit is lovely now. Crit is just... Oh, they buff crit across the board. It's fantastic. Minus four dodge is a little annoying. Um, swift cloak. Yeah, fine. No quarrels with that at all. Plus two speed. No problem. Dark brace is okay. Good for dark runs. Book of holiness is almost just... I'm just unlikely to use it at any given point. Uh, the Blood Course Medallion. Okay. It's for our least favourite class, or for my least favourite class. Oh, the Virtuous Chalice. Again, just not going to use it, unfortunately. We cannot do a Veteran Dungeon. Um, which is a shame, because the Poisoned Herb is not bad at all. And the Bloody Herb. Also lovely. So, I think... I think, I think, I think we want to go on a long apprentice mission, get the bullseye hat. I think this maximizes our chances of finding the thing from the stars, whatever that is. So, who do we want to take with us? Well, we do want a dedicated healer. I'm going to make that very clear now. Rabies isn't too bad. Rabies is good on some classes, bad on others. I would say bad on the Vestal because you rely on the self-healing from judgment a little bit when you want to get some damage done. We'll take a Vestal for now. We'll see what's going on. And, hmm... So, I think I do want to take a Crusader, but I think maybe I want to use Holy Lance. Because Holy Lance, is, it just seems awesome. And I think that means that we want to use a class which doesn't mind being shuffled about. Also probably means we want to shuffle the Jester back to rank 4. So that she doesn't get caught up in all the shuffling that's going on in the first few ranks. And I, maybe we want to use a Grave Robber. Easier said than done, though. We don't appear to have one. Uh, not at level... Zero, one, or two at least. So we'll take Holy Lance. I think we want Inspiring Cry as well, and I have been underusing Stunning Blow a little bit. So I think I'm happy to take Holy Lance and shift him forward. And that means we want someone who doesn't mind shifting back every now and then. I was going to say point blank shot, but that's not quite going to do it. Even though it's a nice skill. Duelist advance point blank shot. We could we could make something work there. We could we could make something work there. Maybe we take Bazinage. It's Reynold and Dismas in spirit, you all know it. And, and Abomination's pretty good as well. But I kinda want someone who doesn't mind moving about. That means we don't take a leper. Maybe a jester? Can't use these from rank two though. Kinda want someone who doesn't mind moving about rank one, two, or three. Okay, so. Two Highwaymen is dumb. Point Blank Shot moves him back. Um, Duelist Advance moves him forward. They're the only two movement skills, and they only move by one. So let's let's think this through. Our Crusade is going to go before our Highwaymen maybe three quarters of the time. So our Highwaymen gets to go first. We'll Point Blank Shot, and then Rank 2 will move up to Rank 1. So who do we want in Rank 2 that doesn't mind being in Rank 2 or 1? Or 3? Because when... For the times that ranked... I'm thinking this through on the fly here. So for the for the few times that our Crusader goes first and Holy Lance is up to rank 1, which is his only skill he can use from rank... Oh, uh, Inspiring Cry. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think we are okay with taking a Leper on the premise that we can use Inspiring Cry when we don't want to move the leper back to rank three. I think we can do that. I think we can make that work. So I'll take Drool. This is this looks dumb, but I think it might be fine. Um, we can hit all four ranks pretty effectively. So I think I'd rather take Inspiring Cry than Battle Heal, because we do have a Vestal. All of these guys are, like, fairly tanky. Um, the Highwoman has Dodge, so that's uh, his effective HP is a little bit higher, maybe. 
I think this is okay. I think this is probably going to be okay. We don't want to take Purge. Um, oh, we have Withstand. Oh, yeah. Withstand can be used from rank 3 now. I think that was historically not the case. Um, yeah, I, I think all his abilities used to be just rank 1 and 2 only. And now he can do a little bit from the back rank. So we can use Withstand. And, you know, we've, we've got Solemnity, Huge Shock. Okay. I think Withstand is the right play here. Mm. It marks him, increases all his resistances and his protection. So if we do find him in rank 3, not the end of the world. We can't use Solemnity outside the front ranks, unfortunately. Um, but we could use Revenge. I think Solemnity's fine, but I think Revenge is probably where we want to be. Because it's just a little bit more of a, a good catch-all skill than Solemnity. So we definitely want to have Point Blank Shot in Duelist Advance. The worst he's going to end up in is rank 2, so that's absolutely fine. Or the furthest back, I should say, is rank 2. So Wicked Slice, Pistol Shot, Point Blank Shot, Duelist Advance. Seems nice. We're in the Ruins, so we don't want to open Vein. We could take Grape Shot instead of... Instead of Wicked Slice. And then we just have... Uh, we would have three range skills, so Clean Guns would be slightly better. Right now we're 2 and 2, so we don't really want either of the two, um, the two buffing camping skills for him. This is going to be a long episode, by the way. I'm okay with it. I've got all day. It's Saturday lunchtime. Football's not until three. It's all good. Wicked Slice, Pistol Shot, Point Blank Shot. This covers basically all eventualities and all ranks. It does mean we can hit the back rank from the front, though. But we can't do that with Grape Shot Blast either. We could have Tracking Shot. I think this is fine. I think Tracking Shot's just not quite good enough for, a, uh, for an Apprentice Dungeon. I think this is fine. Remember, this is experimentation. You know, we're trying out different stuff that I have not used before and, um, and would like to. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely upgrade Holy Lance. And yes, this, 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 and we have Revenge, or at least we want Revenge. We do have Revenge. And we want Dazzling Light 100% of the time. We do not want Mace Bash. Battle Vestal is also something I'd like to try out, but probably not until we get the appropriate um, trinkets for it. And yes, I do want this. I do want another 15 deeds. We're churning through portraits a little bit here, but I think it's fine. Okay, no, so we want to trade in 21 busts. Uh, well, churning through busts, sorry, not portraits. And then, what, three crests? Yeah, three crests for a deed. That is the most efficient way to do it, I think. And we can upgrade at least Talpier. Yeah, and... Yeah, I mean, it makes Judgment slightly better. It makes Dazzling Light very slightly better. Increases her base crit. Uh, we're going to want it at some point, unless we lose her this dungeon, which I don't think is going to be the case. Basnage. Unparalleled Finesse is nice. Um, clean Guns, I actually, I actually do like. But we're again, two and two. And I think we are going to be using Point Blank Shot a lot. So I'm, I'm actually okay with Clean Guns here. Um... Someone did raise a very good point that his melee skills are generally slightly better than his range skills, which makes Unparalleled Finesse better. That's very reasonable, but I think because we're using specifically Point Blank Shot, which is a melee skill, uh, I'm going to stick with Clean Guns, and we have both to use anyway. So Bandit Sense is lovely, although I didn't use it last time because I miscalculated what numbers were. And I think we maybe want to encourage... I'm not a fan of the Leper's Camping skills in general, but I think they have maybe been buffed a little bit. Uh, let the mask down could be nice. It's a, it's cost one. I think that used to be cost two. But I could be wrong about that. Reflection, yeah. Actually, I think maybe these have been buffed a little bit. A little bit of tool stick inconsistency there. Suffer 20% HP damage. Does that... Does that apply anywhere else in the game? Yeah, I mean, some of this stuff is actually quite nice. I think Quarantine used to increase his stress. I think... I think, and I assume that's 20% of his max HP. Yeah, he's he's like a, a pretty okay, like... He's pretty okay on the, in the campfire right now. That's, that's not bad at all. We're going to take Quarantine. Because stress, we don't have a dedicated stress healer. We do have Inspiring Cry, but I think I'm probably not going to be using it that much. So I'd like to have a way of, uh, of reducing stress in the campfire as well. Zealous Speech is actually quite nice. Zealous Vigil is nice too, but we don't really want it. We don't really care because we're going to be using Bandit Sense to prevent the ambush unless he's super stressed out. So I think I take Zealous Speech. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. 
and Therud. Again, not a fan of the Vestal's camping skills either, personally. Uh, again, Sanctuary, probably not going to be too useful because I don't think anyone's going to be at Death's Door. I certainly hope not. But I guess it's, it's a, it's a lose-less scenario, so that's fine. And I, think this, I don't think we want to spend any more money on it because we do want money for provisions. And again, I am looking forward to checking some of this stuff out. We're probably going to have... Uh, we're only going to have three level threes next time. Well, in a little bit of time, we'll be uh, attempting to kill the Miller. Probably two or three episodes, I would say. Trinkets. Yes. Still want the Sacred Scroll on the Vestal. We are on the lookout for a better healing trinket, but I think the Sacred Scroll's fine for now. And I think, yeah, cla character class restriction. Character class restriction. We do have a uh, uh, sure. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Stalwart buckle as well is nice. And now we're just going to be filling out the trinkets with various other things. The Seer Stone. Well, okay, let's let's think this through. We actually want low speed in our Crusader because we want our Highwayman to go first. Use point blank shot, push our Leper up to rank one, then Holy Lance will push the Leper back to rank two where he can still do everything. So I'm okay with lowering our Crusader speed and I'm actually pretty happy to do that. I think that is a, a reasonable decision. A decision. There, we got the gratuitous, terrible French accent out of the way. I'm okay with it. Ah, well, mm -mm -mm. we're going to be using Bandit Sense. And we're going to be camping fairly early, I think. So... Okay, realistically, we don't want the Survival Guide. We would rather have the Seer Stone, because our Crusader is not going to be disarming traps anyway, the vast majority of the time. Um, our Highwayman is going to be just better at it. But... I also don't want to reduce his speed at all. In fact, I want to increase his speed, but I don't think I have any trinkets that do so. Ha! Huh. Well, we'll give you the Tentacle Idol for now. Martyr Seal could be nice on the Leper, but it's just not going to be too useful. I mean, it's it's good. It's more of a flagellant trinket. It's strictly good, right? Plus 15% max HP. It's just strictly good. So I'm going to take it. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And yeah, our Vestal's not going to be doing too much. I know I said this was bad, and I do still think it's bad. But because we don't get crit buffs from crit heals, we do still want to be crit healing. This may be... It looks bad, but it maybe reduces the amount of crit heals we get through the entire dungeon by one. Maybe two. So I think it's maybe okay. I'm okay with more death blow resist. This looks bad, but I think it's actually completely okay, right? I think we're just going to go with this. Yeah. We have five and a half thousand gold to spend on provisions. I'm going to spend all of it, probably. I think that's fine. Um, yeah, so we want 16 for the campfire, which leaves us with 20 for five hunger checks. I think that's okay. We go in torches. No, I'm only going to take eight torches. Because we're going to be strategically camping to maximize the uh, the torchlight. We're going to take four shovels. We're going to take three holy water, two keys. Yeah, two keys. One herb is fine, two bandages. One of something else, one anti-venom maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, one anti-venom. Okay, I'm fine with this. We have zero gold. This may be the first time this has happened to me in a long time. I hate it! We haven't got the idiosyncratic coffee today, unfortunately. We're back on the uh, on the squash. It's far too hot. It's like, it's must be what, lunchtime now, give or take? Like 12 p.m. on a Saturday, and it is 23 degrees. Can you imagine? Can you imagine 23 degrees Celsius? I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably like 80. Must be driven back. A little bit less. Better place to begin. Oh, I, I already hate this. I already hate this map. Oh, it's actually not too bad. I thought this was like, you know, where, where here would be. And we had like three branches pathing. Pathing branches. Brath we had three brathing patches. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Wait, you are right in my ear right now, buddy. I've also changed around the game audio levels a little bit, so hopefully to be a little bit clearer, you might be able to hear the narrator a little bit better. So we basically want a point blank shot every time. That was really loud. Um, that makes our Highwayman a little bit less 
another abomination. Makes him a little bit less versatile early on, but I think it's fine. And now our Crusader can use Smite, our High Woman can use Pistol Shot. Again, he's going to be using ranged skills a little bit more often, even though they're not quite as powerful as melee skills most of the time. We're going to be okay. Oh, more accuracy on our Leper sounds good. I'm already loving this party setup, I really am. And we also have Duelist Advance, though, for our High Woman. Which means that we can get him back up uh, to rank 2 in the Holy Lance through again. Do we want to do that now? Yeah, I mean, Duelist Advance is just nice. The Riposte is nice. Not useful here, obviously. But in general, it's lovely to have. And we're actually going to camp here. This is quite a short, long dungeon, right? We've got 12, 13 rooms, not counting the first room. Quite short, I think. I'm kind of okay with it. I'm excited. I, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a natural mumbler, but also when I'm recording, I get excited and want to say five things at once and end up tripping over my words. So I'm, I've been making a concerted effort to mumble less, but my word. Uh, sometimes I'm just in a good mood and words just come spilling out and I'm like, yeah, everyone can understand what I'm saying. Whether you can or not, of course, it's entirely up to you. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, our crusader's not too bad. I'm going to eat the shit out of my words here. And we're going to get that stress relief on the Crusader. Probably mathematically the right play, but only just. Well, 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 we do have some proactive camping skills. But we also have some stress relief camping skills. And we just don't need that right now. I'm, I'm not going to camp here, but I'll probably come up here and then come back and camp when we get to this room. Maybe get some scouting figure out what's going on, maybe even find a secret room and use a key on it this time. I've heard that if you use a key on the chest in the secret room, you get some good stuff from it. I don't know if that's common knowledge. Decimated. I love it. I love it. I just do. Why wasn't I doing this before? This is amazing. I'm the best player in the world. That's absolutely correct. Expedition at least promises success. If you remember to click the default party order button, you might be a better player. All right, I know, I know. It's fine, Strawman, who is also just my own doubt and anxiety. There should be... Okay, I thought we had quick draw because we've been pretty lucky on the speed. But I, I was just thinking, there should be... A trinket that does absolutely nothing, but it allows that character to get the first attack in every dungeon. I don't know if there is. I'm assuming there isn't because I've never seen one, but I feel like it would be a nice addition to the game. That kind of sucks. Might be undesirable for balance reasons. I can understand that. But I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy X lately. My favorite game ever. I've mentioned that a few times on this channel. And one of the best abilities you can get on a weapon in that game is First Strike, which allows that character to go first no matter what, even if you get surprised by the enemy. And it allows some really nice combos to go on. And I'm like, yeah, that would be pretty cool, right? To do in Darkest Dungeon? Maybe? So you want a Duelist Advance here, we can Holy Lance the Madman, and then our Leper can finish off the Bone Soldier in the front. Well, actually, our, our Vestal can do that. Because I'm not hurting for health here. Our leopard's going to be useless, but we can use Odewenge. I think that's, I think that's fine. Yeah, makes him more reckless. I guess you would, you would say, in um, in the context of a lot of a lot of games, that would be portrayed as recklessness. You know, he, he turns into a berserker. He's got increased damage and increased damage taken. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about repost here. It's pretty unlikely to to be any use to us in this particular fight. And I just want a judgment. Oh, 60% to hit. You've got like a 50-50 chance of actually killing it. Slightly more. So we're talking like a 35% chance, I would say, to kill this. Oh, if you work it out, you will always be shown to be making an incorrect assumption. Oh, we got a music box. Cool. That's really nice. The Aria box. Very rare. Minus 25% stress. Not the best music box, but a pretty nice one. Um, I don't want to drop any existing trinkets for it, but I think I'm going to drop the anti-venom and I'm going to take it and I don't want the citrine. That is lovely. Uh, so maybe I'm going to, yeah, I think I'd rather have less stress than more healing received. I think this is a nice trinket. 
But I think the RA box is also just like real nice, right? Maybe we want to reduce his stress. Yeah. But the lower speed is a feature, not a bug here. Uh, I'm going to take the tenacity ring off, yeah. Because I, I like having the crit on those heels. I think it's really, really useful, obviously. What do we got going on here? Oh, well, we do have to come up here. That's okay. That's all good. I will say, the Highwoman is kind of becoming my favorite class right now. I'm, I'm really enjoying what's going on with the Highwoman. Oh, nice. Maybe. Nope. Didn't get any extra scouting beyond what we already got. That's okay. As, as far as pure DPS classes go, I think the Highwoman is one I've underrated for a little while. And I am loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Okay, that's fine. We still got to Holy Lance. It only puts him forward one. Oh, uh, no, you know I'm going to Inspire and Cry. This is going to be a slightly longer fight, probably, because there's some protection going on. But um, I think it's fine. I'm actually going to chop... Hmm. 9 to 18... 6 to 12. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to hew, and then we can point blank shot rank 1. And hopefully that should kill it. If we hit between 11 and 15, I'm the world's smartest genius player of Darkest Dungeon in the whole wide world who's a genius. And if we don't, then I'm a dumb idiot who doesn't deserve to live, let alone play video games. So let's... It's all or nothing. Let's see what happens. Dumb idiot it is! I should have checked... I should have checked the, um, the range on that, by the way. I didn't look. But I figure, like, 11 to 15 was, like, the high end. Probably, like, it's probably, like, 7 to 13. I can't check now. Well, we can sort of have a look. 5 to 10, so call it, like, 6 to 12 for point blank shot, which does more damage. Maybe 7 to 12 or 7 to 13. So it wasn't completely dumb. But it also wasn't that smart. And we got that riposte. I might actually be useful here. We don't have a way of marking him. Mmm, kind of sucks. Guess we just chop. We can hit the back line with our other two DPS, so that's okay. Mm, although, actually, we kind of can't, right? We can hit the... Mmm, yeah, it's, uh, it's only with pistol shots that he can hit the very back. We hit the back through the back two with duelist advance and that's it. But I can't use either of those from rank one. So he's going to be clearing corpses, unfortunately. But we do have riposte. Rather do that, yeah. Then our leper can withstand or maybe just move forward. He can only move forward by one. I'm going to withstand. Although actually marking him was not particularly great. Because it means our Highwoman is more likely to not be attacked and therefore not riposte. We're going to point blank shot and we're going to clear this corpse. We got the crit, but we didn't get a crit buff because it was a corpse. <laughs> that makes some sense. Okay, cool. World smartest genius man to the rescue. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Brought low and driven into the mud. I don't know what that was. I think we do drop the gold. We've, it's a long mission. We've got a long way still to go. I'm going to drop the gold. I'm going to drop the shovel. And this is holy water, which buffs you until camp, right? So we're going to camp. We're going to eat for eight. Close Lovely. 40 stress relief, which is dope as hell. And we're going to bandit sense first. Last time we were so preoccupied with curing our disease that we did not ban his sense at all. I regret that immensely. And we have actually been using melee skills as much as range skills, so I, hmm. Oh, and it increases his speed as well. Oh yeah. Doesn't increase his crit, and this is a sizable crit increase, but the dodge and speed, the speed particularly, allowing him to point blank shot first and avoid things that, the kind of thing that's been happening in the last, in the last battle. Hmm, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's just good. We can't use Zealous Speech, but we don't really particularly care. Cures everyone else's stress. It's kind of okay. Time cost three is a little awkward. We could just double encourage. 
Let's just double encourage. Yeah, I think that's better. So we've buffed our highwoman. We've buffed our party with utility skills, and everyone's stress is like pretty low. Oh, that is a good camp. The path now, is clear. we require only the strength to follow it. We are gonna absolutely destroy everything if this is the damage buff that I think it is. Ha! Huh. Oh, I was thinking of the altar of light. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna ignore it for now, and we're gonna do this. Stress relief. Oh, this buffs his dodge and protection. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm all for that. That seems fine. I was thinking of the altar of light before. That gives you like 30% damage until camp. But this is still, you know, a significant defensive buff until camp. So I will take it gladly. Can never remember what to do here. But you know what? No time like the present. Well, better time than here. Well, better place than now. I know. Is it holy water? That doesn't seem to make any sense, but we do have a surplus. No. It's not a torch, right? We don't want to torch the books. Oh dear. That didn't look good. Risk taker. Replace thin blooded. Oh. I assume that's plus 10% damage dealt. That's actually. I don't see that as a negative quirk at all. For a crusader, it would suck on like a vestal. But yeah, I think that's completely okay. It also, I guess, kind of sucks on Blood Moon a little bit. Or Stygian in general. Yeah, but I'm not on Blood Moon at this point, so... I'm okay with that extra 10% damage. Especially replacing Thin Blooded, which I think um, lowers his Bleed Resist. Or his Blight Resist. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. We're gonna take the risk here. He's a risk taker. Don't you mess around with me. Glittering gold. That's gonna, just gonna pump it. Baubles, just gonna pump that big T. For in blood. Try not to think about that one too much. Hashtag pump that big T. Okay. Method acting. I'm exploring the ruins of an ancient family that I don't give a shit about. Okay, method acting done. Day six. As we travelled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most of our Asterian prayed softly for our safety. It was superstitious, but well-intentioned, well I suppose. I keep saying well-meaning. I'm already falling asleep. So quick to sleep, he can't even finish his ellipses! All right, we actually read that one last episode, but I didn't clock that until halfway through. Oh, this is okay. You gonna blight me, bitch? I don't think so. We're gonna high roll you. We're gonna hew you. Oh, we're gonna hew him so hard. He won't even know what hath hewn him. Yeah, fuck it, I, I don't care, I'm an inspiring cry. That's right. They don't have much dodge. Mmm, well, I mean, I... Nah, fuck it, we're hewing now. <laughs> the wounds of war can be healed. It's what we do and we fucking hewing. Never hidden. I regret everything. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. We could have seen that coming, but did not. Well, we're back in order now, anyway. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Should have taken an antiquarian? Mm, yeah, I think that's reasonable. I said that like I was addressing someone in stream chat. I'm not even streaming. It's just, it's just my perception of you, the average conglomerate homunculoid viewer in my head. That's what you're saying right now, because that's what I'd be saying if I was watching me. Annihilate. Okay, well, we're gonna chop. Okay, what did I expect from a man called Dural? We're gonna Holy Lance. 
We're going to divine comfort. We're thinking, we're thinking in portals, but we're also thinking several steps ahead. I am like the Gary Kasparov of Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I think this is actually still correct. Just about. Gary Kasparov? I'm doubting myself now. It's Gary, right? It's Gary Kasparov. The chess grandmaster. Gary with two R's? Yeah? Oh, a sapphire. Hmm, that presents as a quandary of sorts. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Ah, uh, yeah, that is correct, lunchtime. I think we drop the herbs. We find an Iron Maiden, sure, we may regret it, but I think we're going to have enough, um, enough stuff found over the course of the dungeon to, to fill up our inventory pretty nicely. I oh, certainly hope so. We're going to camp here. Or whenever our buffs run out, I think. Yeah, maybe whenever our buff runs out. Because that two speed is helping me out big time. We don't really need the stress relief at the moment, though. That proc coming in. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. That PBS. Phosphate buffered sailor. It's a long time since I did my biology degree, right? I'm pretty sure PBS stands for that. Any of you STEM folks in chat want to correct me? I'm okay with that. Yep. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. That's right. Well, we have absolutely nothing to do here, so. Or you're know, healing wise, so I think we want to stun. Well, my heart was in the right place. I did attempt to stun. Speed is nine, which is which is lovely. Thanks to the crit buff. Oh, that's a shame. To be fair, that's what you get for attacking with a sword like it's actually a spear. We're gonna withstand. Well, we're gonna get so much loot. Um, I'm so I'm such a fan of it. Maybe like later on, when um, when I can, and if the mood strikes me, I will do like quad antiquarian runs and try and get some some sick loot. But that day is not today. That day is for when I hate myself. I want to spend 17 hours recording one short dungeon. Yeah, we just do this. Oh, another sapphire. That's actually lovely. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Mm. We don't want to drop anything for the gold. It's not just a hundred gold, it's a stack of gold, essentially, right? So we're going to find more gold over the course of the dungeon, and it's just going to stack on top. I'm going to leave it. The jades, again, yeah, not particularly important, I don't think. Give me a secret room. Oh, he's done it! Absolute madman. I think that means we want to camp in the secret room. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we, we want to camp in the secret room. Just for the purposes of inventory space. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Hugh, dear friend, exemplary warrior, a survivor of the King's Wars and many sorties in this halt, met an ignoble end. We were weary, Huel and I, as we searched for sanctuary. Weariness, it appears, has a murderous streak. It blinded him to the mechanism that tripped the spikes which eviscerated him. I held him as his essence slipped away, another giant fallen in our mad pursuit. I am alone now, weary but unbarred. I press on. Well, I kind of want to take it home, but there's no chance I'm going to be able to do that on a long dungeon. So we're going to dump everything. We're going to leave it for the crows. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. That is correct, Wayne, yes. You say this every time like it's fucking news to you, like, you live here! Huddled together. This is your house! And vulnerable. Yeah. It's in a maze. Yeah, worth, worth, worth. Bandit sense, I mean, I kind of want to in double encourage. You know, these guys can encourage each other. More accuracy and more dodge. I think maybe that goes to my... I think maybe I do this and it goes to my high women. And then we zealous speech. Lowers everyone's stress. I, I know, I know. But it also buffs everyone's stress. No, it's not worth five, is it? It's just not worth five. 
This is quite nice, but I've already prevented the ambush. Yeah. Quarantine might be fine. He's got extra healing received. I'm not in any danger of him dying. Doesn't really do a huge amount, though, does it? Doesn't really do a huge amount. I want to encourage, first of all. And I think then... I want to buff, right? More accuracy and more crit. Yeah... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, my word. I thought you selected this and then selected him because... Well, there's the episode's misplay. We have two respite points left. I guess we encourage. Okay, well, we did cock that up somewhat. I'm not going to lie to you. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. I want you to watch this very carefully. That's right. Lovely. Barristan's head... Oh, wow, well, excuse me. That one caught me by surprise. Barristan's head is not great. But I'm going to keep it so that we get more of these bad boys in the future. I'm going to drop the Tenacity Ring. I think it's just not good enough. I'm going to take the Trapezohedron. And I think then I'm going to drop my keys because I really only took them for this... Um, you know, this, um, this eventuality. And we're going to go home. We have 7,000 extra gold now. Barring a full party wipe, which is exceptionally unlikely unless we find the thing from the stars. Barring a full party wipe, we're going to be just fine. For money, when we get back. We left here with zero gold. We spent our last gold on, uh, on provisioning. And, um, and, and we're going to be rewarded for it, I think. Mm, so I think we do want to chop here. And if only we had some kind of accuracy buff, that would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet. So we want a Duelist Advance Rank 3. And then we want a Holy Lance Rank 3 if it's about Maybe we want a Duelist Advance Rank 1? Can we even do that? Yeah. Yeah, and then we want a Holy Lance Rank 3. Which we will get a chance to do and we can then... Nice. I was going to say we can chop Rank 1. Turns out we don't need to. That's all good. It's all dandy. Mm, one for three is not a problem. We're going to withstand. Yeah. Doesn't really do very much, I suppose, either way. It's going to wear off before we get to this battle. Oh, that sucks. But it's okay. It has a speed of eight. Eight, you may recognize, is a large number. Okay, so we just need a little... Yeah, we need a tap now. We need to tap him over. Which we can't do here. Okay, we're going to Inspiring Cry and get some Stress Relief on. It's going to be pretty nice. We're going to DA. Oh, get DA'd on, boy. D, it's nice. Success so clearly Not good enough. Good enough. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, I'm just going to dump this food. No one needs it. I'm going to take the... Gold. I do kind of want the busts. Gonna drop the bandages, take some busts. It's time to start dumping our provisions, I think. This could even be the last battle, although it's pretty unlikely. That's right. Let's go. Could have dumped the torches, but I think we're gonna get enough loot without having to worry about going torchless. Okay, this is fine. This is no problem. Getting some sweet high rolls on here. Come on. Yeah! Chop. Will chop kill it? Very possibly. Got like a 35% like a chance to kill it. Maybe a 40% chance to kill it. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That went pretty well. Excellent crit. I kind of want you. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. But I ain't dropping anything for you. Maybe I drop... Fuck it. Let's... <laughs> the, light, the promise of safety. Let's go torchless. I'm okay with it. No balls, no holes. That's what I always say. I don't... I don't say that. It's vulgar. I'm not a vulgar man. A decisive pummeling. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. We want to chop? Yeah, we want to chop. 
because this guy's been brought up to the front. Now we want to Holy Lance the Cultist Acolyte. Oh, I'm such a shiny golden god. I am being. I did just, you don't take me seriously. I am joking. I'm not like. May we find victory. I mean, if that sarcasm flew over your head, then I sound like a dick, right? What are you passing for? Imposter syndrome. Sure, sure. You are probably the most valuable member of my team, but sure. Get in your own way, man. See if I care. We're we're on a roll here. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just dandy. Am I doing yet more voices? I'm out of accents. They can be beaten. I've been out of accents since about like December 2016. I don't want to eat this food. <laughs> okay, this is a confused cat. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their scales had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without even gills. Worse was their eyes. Close set and forced to squint through fleshy slits. I shudder recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinse my talons. Nearly wretched. May death grant them soft mercy. Okay, that's that's my that's my fish who thinks he's a cat, who thinks he's a fish voice. Uh yeah, we dropped our keys, but we're gonna we're gonna do this anyway. That's fine. I give no shits about that. Fantastic. I need some more suggestions for uh, for role playing these, man. <laughs> Cause I'm out of ideas. Like I is. Like I is. I'm out of ideas. Of ideas. This man is such a critting boy. What is the crit bonus of that? Nine point five. So we're on, um, yeah, we're on 25.5. So we should only be critting one time in four with Holy Lance. But it seems to be happening a lot more often. Do we have a crit bonus trinket on him? Nope. No, no, no. Wow. The ground nice. Quick. More prot. More speed. More accuracy. Oh, we, we can't hit him anyway, of course. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're just not getting in long enough battles for revenge to be particularly useful. It, they are level 1 dungeons, of course, so... What do you expect, right? Want a duelist advance? Want a wicked slice? Rather duelist advance. Oh, yeah, we got the kill anyway. Lovely. We can't withstand because we can only use it once per battle. All right. We can also only use revenge once per battle because the uh, the buffs last for the entire battle. That makes a lot of sense. Want a judgment? Nope. Want divine comfort? Grab some healing. That's good. That's so good. Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess we just use this, right? One for two. One for two. Yeah. I definitely want the portrait. But what do I want to drop for it? The eternal question. Maybe the onyx. I think I'd rather drop an onyx for a portrait. 500 gold uh, for a portrait I think is very fair. Cool. Could have taken the crests. Probably not going to be an issue. I'd like to get some scouting. We definitely have at least one more fight. We definitely have at least two more fights. Three more fights. We have one, two, three, four more fights. It's okay. That's fine. We're going to be just dandy. And this, this episode's going to be verging on an hour. Which is like, value for money, right? I hope. I'm enjoying myself anyway. I hope you guys are too. Okay, well this is fine. This is fine. Sure. You're going to, what, stun me, right? Yeah. I don't want that. So I'm just going to... Oh, damn. I didn't click this button, did I? Ha. Huh. Well, I'm going to Wicked Slice. It doesn't really matter what I do. I'm going to Wicked Slice. I know we can move our Leper up one, and our Crusader can then Holy Lance, assuming they go in the order of their speed stats. No, okay. Oh, no, speed is four. He, he has Quick Draw. Which is honestly fine, because Zealous is still really good here. In fact, yeah, Zealous is just better, right? 
Can we judgment? Yeah, all right, that was fine. I did not realize he had quick draw. I definitely should have looked at that when I was checking out their speed stats at the beginning. That's, that's fair. I'm generally of the opinion that quirks don't matter that much, but some of them clearly do. Not bad, not bad. We can duelist advance up. Which I think we probably want to do. I'd rather hit the back line, yeah. So we may we may actually use pistol shot here. Hmm. I mean, duelist advance is lovely, though. It allows him to advance dualistically. What does dualistically mean? You wouldn't understand. We're going to pistol shot? Hmm, we've got a pretty low chance of killing it. Yeah, that's fair. But it does mean we can judgment. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful boy. What a beautiful boy. What a beautiful, shiny boy. Sure. This is going to die anyway. I'd rather not move my leper up unnecessarily. Really thought I clicked the corpse there. Modulus advance. Get that repost on. Although we haven't got a fight coming up. That's fine. Nice. Nice! Crests. Eh. 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 <laughs> That's right. I was so conflicted there for a second. Okay, don't do that. Thanatophobia? Ah, oh, damn, son. Thanatophobia is the fear of dying. The fear of death is... I guess that would just be mortophobia, right? Necrophobia? No, thanatophobia is the fear of dying. Necrophobia is the fear of dead things, I think. I don't know. If you know, let me know, because I'm, I'm really interested in this stuff. Like, etymology is one of those things that I... I'm really interested in and I've never bothered to learn anything about in my own time. We don't have any herbs. So if you, if you do know the difference between those things, let me know, because I'm interested. And I will forget about it after this episode goes up. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's not too bad, because we can hew. That might be awful. No, it's only at 94. Only at 94. Yeah! I mean, I guess! We are in the dark now, so I mean, you know, what do you expect, right? It's okay. A crit would have been bad. That would maybe have, uh, have stressed him out significantly. I want to stun it, yeah. 73%, 85 to stun, so call it like a 65% stun chance. Probably a little higher. That's fine. Nice. Nice! We definitely want a duelist advance here. We're more likely to kill rank 1. For extremely obvious reasons. But it's still pretty unlikely. I'm going to duelist advance you. Oh, nice! Strike. That's right. Or at least it would be a singular strike if it hadn't been happening all fucking dungeon, man. Excuse me. This is nearly an hour of straight talking, man. It's like hell on the throat. I'm not used to it. I'm not a full-time streamer. And honestly, don't really want to be. Hobby is a hobby. A job is a job. I'm, not, I'm in no particular hurry to combine the two, personally. Although I respect people who can make it work. Um, yeah, this doesn't... Uh, doesn't remove debuffs, sorry. I don't think we want anything... Well, we do want the deeds, though. And we have no further obstacles. We have no obstacles coming up. We can take the deeds. I guess I don't really want the holy water. I've been keeping it in case we do need it, but we, we don't need it. So I'm not going to keep it. I don't know if this is difficult to follow at all. Stop me if you think you've heard this one before. Don't want the citrons. Do not want the citrons. Cool. One more fight. One more fight. Okay, well, it had to happen sooner or later. That's okay. He is stressed out now. Ambushed by foul you win some, you lose some. I'm recording multiple episodes today, man. I'm on a roll. This is going brilliantly for me. 
in before Shambler. Well, okay, so the thing from the stars is in the ruins this week, and this is a long dungeon, which means that it, the way it may work, the way that things like this historically have worked, is that he's definitely somewhere in there in a long dungeon. Um, but I don't know if that, you know, I don't know that for sure, which means it's probably one of these three fights. Now, I'm, as long as this fight goes well, I'm happy to do the other two fights to try and find it because I'm interested and I want to know what's going on. Now, we may lose a lot of loot if we die, but what is life without risk apart from extremely comfortable? That's what I say. Well, we can't zealous here, unfortunately. Oh, I love stalwart, man. I mean, the new stalwart, I looked at the patch notes for it. I haven't experienced it this series, I don't think. But the new stalwart looks fantastic. Right, they've they've seriously buffed some of the some of the virtues, and um, and made them a little bit more thematically appropriate. So yeah, new stalwart looks like he's basically impossible to kill, right? Buffs his protection, yeah, plus fifteen percent to the protection. May also buff death blow resist. I'm gonna need to check that out. Must remember, oh no, our leper's already got the Martyr's Seal, that's fine. I thought our Crusader had it. No, our Crusader has only utility trinkets. Um, yeah, plus 8%, which is pretty serious. Also buffs all of his resistances. Oh, nice. Yeah. These are awful, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we want a Duelist Advance for show. And I'm definitely interested in trying to fight the thing from the stars. What's we'll divine comfort here? Oh, that is a perfect crit. A momentary abatement. I don't think we would lose. Like, I don't know anything about the fight, but if the fight is possible to win, I, I think we're in pretty good shape for it. So hopefully we find it and I can figure out just what's going on. We are torchless though. Mm, yeah, I think that's okay. We're at the point now where we're just, our inventory is just full of loot and I'm okay with it. Right, we'll continue adventuring. See what's in here. We've been getting fairly unlucky with those, I think. And maybe we can fight the thing from the stars. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. I may regret this immediately. We can Holy Lance it because it's in rank one and two, which is lovely. Doesn't have any protection. We're not doing as much damage because... We're a calm man. Okay, so we'll Holy Lance it. That is the religious edition of the landmark medical paper. <laughs> It's a joke. Okay, um... So we are, we are actually... We can point blank... Yeah, okay, we can point blank shot. We are interested in Duelist Advance. We are interested in Revenge for the Leper. Unfortunately, we can't really move anyone around without... Yeah, so we'll withstand first. We'll withstand and we'll Revenge. And then we will move him forward. And then we will try and keep everyone in their same positions with the Leper in two, the Highwoman in three, Crusader in one. Sky Tanked? Sounds like my least favourite porn star. Who are you? More stress, less blight and bleed resist. That's pretty bad, actually. That is pretty bad. Divine Grace. Mm. Maybe comfort would have been slightly better. Return to the stars. From which you came. Oh, we have to kill this. We saw this before in the first farmstead quest. We have to kill it. So we'll duelist advance. Right? No, we can Zealous Accusation. It has a speed of minus four, so our Crusade is probably going to go first. Although, by no means, that's a guarantee. Yeah, we're going to Divine Comfort. Can we stun it? Not really. Letting those aberrations live is a big problem. So we want to make sure that we do not do that. If they're the same aberrations we saw in the um, in the Farmstead quest, anyway. We'll, we'll Ruwenge. And then next time he gets a turn, we'll move him forward. And then we'll keep the Highwoman in rank three. That is Vorpal as fuck, man. That is far too Vorpal. Ah, oh, damn. It did go first. Oh, his speed is minus four. Oh, no, I think that just debuffed him. Okay, okay. That's not the end of the world. We were a little unlucky. But it was reasonable to think that that had a decent chance of happening. So I can't complain too much. Did that just hurt him? I think it did. Yeah, we have to keep yeah, we have to keep our home and in rank two for now. I'm just gonna wicked slice. I think it's fine. I think it's completely fine to do that. He's blighted five for three. 
This is a this is becoming a pretty tough fight. Oh shit. He becomes significantly more powerful at low health, like vastly more powerful. We need all the throughput healing we can get. Sedated. That's fine, yeah, yeah. You you strike him vorpally as you like, buddy. We're gonna move him forward one, and these are the positions we're gonna stay in for the rest of the dungeon. Okay, so he's now significantly more powerful. We can zealous accusation this. We can also hew this now. And we can Wicked Slice, which is lovely. We can't Duelist Advance, unfortunately. Yeah, there's his protection. 80% though. 80% is dumb. We can't strip buffs. We haven't got anything that can strip buffs, which is kind of a shame. So it's going to be a, a knockdown drag out fight here. He's basically got like 130 HP because we don't have any blighting or bleeding characters. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't... Okay, that's fine. That was pretty lucky. Zealous does kill it. Okay, good, good, good. Luckily, we do have some pretty high-hitting characters. Yeah, it is taking five of his HP away every time, so I'm okay with it. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Weakening shard. I don't like that. Okay, uh, that's not actually too bad. That is pretty bad, though. Fear and that music stutter, though. Lovely. Fantastic. Lovely Hugh. They call me Lovely Hugh. But my name's not Hugh. That's the joke! That's the joke. All right. Uh, Will Wicked Slice? Mm, yeah, we don't have anything really better to do. Wicked Slice is... Clearly better. Masterfully executed. We're going to have to wait for him to kill himself, I think, is going to be the play here. We're doing a little bit of damage, but he's going to be damaging himself almost as much as we're damaging him with a Return to the Stars. So I'm actually thinking we're going to be okay here. I'm actually thinking this is going to be fine. I just did that to be safe, because I really, really didn't want... Okay, ouch. I really didn't want the aberration to explode. Okay, hopeless is pretty bad. But he already has imposter syndrome, so there's a little bit of overlap there. Chop is nice. Phase Gnaw. What does that do? Stress and Blight? Yeah, the Blight is pretty nasty. We may actually lose him here. Well, we're not going to lose him immediately. We can get him off Death's Door. He'll go back down to Death's Door when the Blight hits. If we can get him to think from or return to the stars now, we, can, we need to hit him once with almost anything. Okay, well, that's fine. It means one tick rather than two. No, we're fine. But I definitely want to do that. Just so that we don't get a tick on Death's Door. Well, we'll get one tick on Death's Door. Ten for three? Doesn't really matter. Mm, all right, fine, fine, fine. Okay, well, we're still going to win, which is very important to me. Now we have to Zealous. Oh, lovely. That riposte. Achievement unlocked. There are no words. These trinkets are the ones we already had. 25 Comet Shards. I don't really have much space for it, honestly. Lucky Talisman is nice. 550 gold, sure. I'll take some of it. What do we want to drop, though? Like, two deeds? That seems wrong, but I think it's probably correct. I'm not sure I want the Martyr Seal. No, that's dumb. I do want the Martyr Seal. Do I want to drop gold for it? Yes. I think I'd rather drop the gold than two portraits. No, no, I'll drop the portraits. We're not going to take anything else. I'm okay with how that went. We lost one person. It's okay. That was a tough fight considering we didn't have any blight or bleed. So we just had to hammer through his 80% protection. And we ended up with, what, 25,000 gold? No, not even close. Like 22,000 gold. And a lovely musketeer trinket. And another level three. Citrimane is fine. The egg is like, oh dear. 
That's actually really not very good at all. We need to treat that. Ligophobia is pretty bad. Warren Scrange is fine. Um, being dead is actually like the worst quirk. I don't know if you've noticed. That's okay. Oh, cool. Ring out from the Abbey. We're gonna the take both of these? It's just two Vestals. On guard and slugger, eh? On guard's not bad. For a healer though, not particularly useful. Winded and dud hitter, not great, really. Deadly's okay. Perfectionist is maybe fine. I actually like that a lot. I think that's pretty funny. So, sort by level. We can obviously take one of those, risk-free. We'll take uh, we'll take the first one. I think that's fine. Uh, the one with more quirks. And unrelenting. So, we want to go to the sanitarium. And we want Tolkien to be cured of the egg. Alright, she's a flagellant. She can't pray, even though she's literally a fucking nun. Um, and we'll put Buznaj in the transept. So by stress, we can maybe get Dismas in. Mm, see, he's a flagellant. Yeah, he's a flagellant. That's okay. Um, yeah, that's um, that. That's our lot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this extra long episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I did too. And I will see you next time.